Hi guys, Woody here. Welcome back. This is episode 37 of You Can't Win Anything With Kids. Now, if you will remember all the way back to about a week ago, uh, in our last video, we were in touching distance of the playoffs. And I said, we're either coming back for playoffs, the chance to get into the Premier League, or the start of our... Uh, our season. So it either went well or it went horribly wrong. Let's go and find out what happened. Bum, 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 da, da. Oh, some sort of, I don't know, weird drum roll there. Maybe I'll put one in. Yeah. And no one will know. Alright, here we are. And oh, there we go. We made the finals. We made the playoff semi finals. First leg. We're going to play Barnsley. Um, Norwich and QPR also made it. If we have a look at the uh, table, oh, that's not it. Uh, Leeds table. We actually finished fifth. We jumped over Norwich on goal difference in the end. Uh, uh, great defence, second best in the league. Uh, really pushed us there. Middlesbrough were a team who kind of bowed out there, missing out on six places. We like nipped in at the end there. Um, so, let's have a look at those fixtures. We left you after Doncaster. We then went and lost 4-2 to Aston Villa, and I was like, well, that's it. That is done and dusted. Uh, a nil or draw with Stoke was okay, and I was a bit like, ugh, we've bottled this. We've absolutely bottled this, because that was on the 14th of April. Um, with what? how many games remaining? One, two, three, four games remaining, that was. Um, one, two, three three, four, so here, look at this, we were down in ninth spot, and I was like, we're done, we're done for, but then, Big George turned it on, and banged a hat-trick against QPR to demolish them 4-1, uh, we beat Millwall 3-1 with Big George, Nakaji scoring two, and Starkey getting one, we then had a great 3-2 win over Burnley, <clears throat> with uh, the Will Gurney getting the win winner, but George Nakaji chipping in there as well. And then finally, on the last day of the season, we beat Charlton 2-1 two, two with Nakaji and Gurney. Pretty comfortable in the end, Charlton getting a 90th minute consolation goal. So four wins on the bounce there. George Nakaji, I think, if my maths is correct, it's three, uh, five six, seven goals in four games, <clears throat> scored in every single one of them, and coming into the semi-finals with that form is brilliant. Borough kind of bowled it a bit. They lost to Blackpool, drew to Palace. They did win those two games there, but losing to Bournemouth probably lost it for them. Uh, oops, getting relegated, just in case you're interested, is Blackpool, Burnley, and Bristol City. We actually relegated Burnley, so haha. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we've got Barnsley, and then we'll play the winner of QPR Norwich. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, this episode is three games, um, or it's going to be two, and it could be an absolute disaster. So this is how we're going to line up. We've got Redmond in goal, Heath at right back, Captain Kane, Dean at left back, McIntyre and Thompson in the central defence. Newell, who's been playing pretty pretty good recently, he has got that uh, defensive midfield role. Clarkson, who's E, K, K, and Helberg, who sometimes is a bit hit and miss, but has played well so far and does have 10 assists to his name. we got Chris Starkey on the left and Will Gurney on the right, but then the big man, the main man up front, big George Nakaji, 29 goals for the season, 26 in the league. Liam Miller will take his place on the bench, still with a great return from him, 22 goals in all competitions. Got Cammy Tate, Leslie Holt, Mark Lewis, Sean Canfer, and Geordie Etting with Chris Lynch, the backup goalkeeper. It's huge. This is massive. Barnsley, we've played two. We've won two. The last time we played them, we beat them. That was all the way back in February, though. Um, Scott Smith is the only person out for us, and for them, with a torn groin muscle, let's, let's just get into this game. Here we go. This is it. Have a look, see how Barnsley are uh, lining up. Okay, well, they got, they've got Ben White. Wow, they have actually got Ben White. Paid 1.9 million for him as opposed to 50 million that Arsenal just paid for him. Um, other than that, 
Mm, three at the back. I think we can expose them down here. It's good that we play wide wingers. Anyway, let's get the commentary speed down to medium and let's keep the game off. Let's get into this. We've got to get three games in there. It's going to be three. I can feel it. Oh, I think that was Big George already. <clears throat> He's fired up. Big George Nakaji. It's tough because Barnsley are in red and white. And we're usually in red and white. And I'm a little bit looking there thinking that's us. But it's not. We're DC United. DC United. FC United. Oh, my God. Holden scores. That's their first shot on target. Is that Andrew Holden? Yep. This is not the start that we wanted. Not the start. I don't think away goals counts in this. So, But I'll take a 1-0 loss and then thump them at home. But at the moment, we're really, really not doing anything. It does... Well, actually, I say that. We have been the dominant team. We've obviously gone down to that one shot on target and a goal time. So this is not good. We need to score here. Wow. That is... Oops. That is a disappointing first half. Let's get the game underway for the second half. I, I, I bigged up... Big George, and he is slightly letting us down a bit. And Chris Starkey on a five as well. He tipped it up to a six, but... Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. No, no, no. This is not two shots on target in the back of the net. Oh, this is not going to be... Oh, Liam Miller. He doesn't miss those. Come on, Liam. Get another one. Oh. Oh. We had a penalty turned down. Oh my god. It was a pretty disappointing game actually. We were we were we were pretty poor. We were really poor. Norwich beaten QPR by the same score line. In a game they dominated Mules out for a week. Liverpool in the FA Cup. We're gonna come back in four days time. We're gonna Neil's not going to make this back again. Oh. Um, Miller will make the bench. Calvin will be the DMC if we need it. We might make some other changes. Oh, what a gutting result that was. 2-1 oh, is not too bad. I don't think there's away goals. So we just need... We need to win 2-0, essentially, at home. It puts a lot of pressure on us, actually. Um... But we were, we were awful. We were really, really poor. Terry Rose out of contract. Um, um, I'm sorry, Terry at twenty. You, you, yeah, you just really haven't made the grade. We're going to release him on a free. Bye, Terry. Cost me eighteen k from Oldham. 29, no, I see he played 29 games for us, and that's a lie. Three starts, 12 off the bench. He played 15 games for us, no goals, no assists, and a really, really crap average rating of about 6.19. Ouch. That's not good. All right, guys, here we are, back for possibly one of the biggest games in... Um, in my career here at uh, FC United Man of Manchester... <clears throat> playing Barnsley they lead 2-1 on aggregate extra uh, I don't think we do away goals anyway I've made a couple of changes I say a couple I've made one change Ross Holmes comes in for Starkey Starkey drops down the bench and Cammy Tate misses out um, that's the only change I've really seen from this game yeah there are a couple of sixes here and oh Jack Newell as well is obviously out 
uh, Mark Lewis comes into is I mean yellow. So I'm sure he's going to pick up a yellow and miss the next uh, game, which would be good. <sighs> Here we go. Okay, they're lining up through the back wing backs. Okay. Okay. Big breath. <clears throat> and I, I, in having a big breath, I made myself cough really badly, so I won't be doing that again. Right, let's kick the game off. Come on. Come on, boys. We're at home. It's a breezy six degrees. We're in our traditional red and white. Barnsley in the white and black. <sighs> Christ, I'm nervous. I think if they score, it's all over. Oh, for... Oh my god. I can't believe it. I just cannot believe it. We were such good form. We were in such good form. Come on, do something. Just do something. Left. I mean, we've got to score two goals to take this to extra time. We don't even look like scoring bloody one at this point. This is absolutely abysmal. Big dub, big George Nakaji. Big him up, big style. And he's just been utter crap. Utter, utter crap. Liam Miller, she just started Liam Miller. No, this is it. Oh. oh my god! Oh my god! You are kidding me, Liam Miller. What the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on boys. Come on Liam Miller. Is it golden goal? <gasps> oh my god. Come on Dean. Holy crap balls. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> wow. A oh, Barnsley have just capitulated here. They have just happy in Provindale is on a two. What the hell has just happened? What has just happened? Here I am thinking we're out of this. 3 1 down on aggregate. I bring on Liam Miller. And he says, nah, I'm not having this. Bang. And then a 90th minute goal. Literally the last kick of the game almost. The last kick of normal time. Where is it? Yep. To send us into extra time. And then we just run rampant. Whole. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is one of the craziest results ever. And QPR did the same to Norwich. Oh my god. What the hell is going on? Right. So. We're still alive. Liam Miller's got to start. Liam Miller has got to start as a Starkey. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm, I'm shocked. I can't believe that. I was I was, I was 100% sure we were out. We were 3-1 down. 
3-1 down. We were 3-2 down with like a minute to go. Holy. Oh my god. Alright, here we are. The big day. The Wembley game. <sighs> Pass me against QPR. Ooh, we just had the slight edge over them. We hammered them. 4-1. If you remember, Big George had a lovely day out against them. So this actually, you know, having the win over them last time is kind of in our hands. Jack Muir is just... He's on death door. I can't. I can't bring him on. He's just not fit enough. It's going to be an ex unchanged. Apart from, I am going to start young goal scoring machine Liam Miller. Let's go to Wembley for the biggest. This is now the biggest game in FC United of Manchester's history. Here we are. Wembley, London, QPR, they're lining up in a three, two win backs, looking, attacking, Matt Ryan in goal, oh, this could be, oh, make or break time, I hope you're ready, because I am, I am not ready at all, I am so not ready for this game, not at all, the oh, far out, I think clearly, clearly my guys weren't ready either, Ooh, Liam Miller. Ho, 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 ho. That man. That man. It's, oh. As someone said in the comments a while ago, we are just literally a young striker, bloody con production line over here. Oh, that, that is huge. Liam Miller, he's so good with his, his shots that he converts such... A high percentage of the mm, Thompson centre back. Oh, 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 getting stuck here. Oh, Liam Miller, he hugs his manager. That what? Oh, what? A, what? Oh, yes. Done. We've done QPR here. We have done them. We're slow to start. Slow to start. Let's have a look at the situation. Do we get a commentary there? doesn't say it. Oh, he hugged his manager. Oh. Little Liam Miller. Wow, we had, we've just absolutely blitzed QPR. Matt Ryan is having an absolute, an absolute mare. Absolute mare. Let's get the game off. Was, was it, I mean, surely we can't throw this away now. Surely we've got this in the bag. Surely we... Okay. Not quite yet. Not quite in the bag yet. Just, oh my god, no. No, 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 no. What the hell? <sighs> Mark Lewis isn't playing well. Let's, let's get him off. He's on a six. Um, can't help it. We're just gonna leave him on for a bit, I think. What the fuck? I was like, this is in the bag, and then they just come and do this, and. Oh my god, no! Oh, it was. Oh no, it's there. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I can't take Liam Miller off. I cannot take Liam Miller off. I can't watch. I cannot watch. I'm still watching. No. <laughs> Seriously, what the hell? Five all. Come on. <sighs> oh 
Oh my god. Oh my god. You... You could not... You could not make this up. No, no, we don't do that. Oh my god, you could not make this up, could you? You could not make this up. So bloody knows. <sighs> I can't commentate, I'm so nervous. We're gonna go to, we're gonna go to penalties, aren't we? Oh it's a free kick just left off the wall then. It's gonna be penalties. Um, penalty shootout. George Nkaji, Will Gurney, Sean Kavanagh, Alan Thompson. Yep. All right. Sure. We'll we'll go with this. We'll just go with this. Oh my God. All right. Let's drop the commentary speed down to very slow. Here we go. This is. Oh my God. This is nerve wracking stuff. Okay. Oh, Liam Miller. What the hell? Honestly. He headbutted Dobson. Far out. All right, here we go. <sighs> QPR score. Big George. Lammers. He scores for QPR. Gurney. Get in. Oh, Redmond. Oh, get in. Coleman. Coleman scores. Kavanagh. Get in. QPR, I've got a score here. All right, this is it. Who is it? Is it Kavanagh? No, Starkey. Starkey. He's only gone wide. Keep your eye gone wide. Heath. Heath. That's it. Oh, we're in the Premier League. Oh my God. Holy God. What a freaking roller coaster. Oh my god, what a roller coaster. Oh, oh my god, holy, di oh, far out. Talk about nerve racking. I feel like I've aged ten years after that. What a game. Oh my god. I want a stiff drink to calm me down. Jesus Christ. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. That was a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, I know it was a bit longer than usual, but um, just see you next year for the Premier League. Bye!